Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Block Project Tutorial for Beginner. So in this tutorial, what we are going to do is that we are going to let the admin approve or cancel any post. So here you can see we have some post over here. Let me just show you the table. Uh, so here you can see the post table over here and inside this table we have some post and here you can see we have the post status over here. And for some of the post the status is active and for some of the post the status is pending so in this tutorial what we are going to do is that we are going to let the admin change the status of a post so there is one more thing that we need to fix and that is here you can see we are seeing all the post over here even if their status is active or pending so we are basically showing all the post over here so what we are going to do is that we will only show the post whose status is active so for it what we will do is that uh, here you can see we are currently in the root view so let me just go to the code and here we'll go to routes then web.php and if you go down here you can see for the root view we are calling the home controller home page function so let me just go to the home controller app http controller and home controller home controller and here you can see the home page function so from here we are basically getting all the post and showing all the post in the root view so here uh, instead of getting all the post from the post table what we will do is that we will only get the post whose status is active and there is only three posts whose status is active so in order to get only the active post what we need to do is that here instead of all we are going to show our here fire condition where we will give to single condition and we show our here post underscore stat status and here you can see this post underscore status will come from the database table so here you can see post underscore status i made a spelling mistake over here so we need to write it exactly over here we just write so post underscore status then we'll give a give a comma then we'll give two single quotation and again and the equal sign after that again a comma two single quotation and here we'll say active then after this first bracket we'll give this arrow sign then we'll saw our here get so what will happen is that it will only get the post from the post table whose status is active and then send it to this view so right now let's save this and here you can see over here we are not logged in okay so right now if we just refresh here here you can see we can see only three post over here because we just mentioned over here only show the post whose status is active so right now uh, what if what will happen if we just try to log in let me just show you let's just log in as a user on two three four five six seven eight and then click login and here you can see when you are logged in we are seeing all the post over here the reason is uh, here you can see that the url is slash home so right now let's just go to routes then web.php and here you can see for the url slash home we are calling the home controller index function so let me just show you the home controller here you can see index function and here when the user type is user we are returning through the same view and basically here we are basically getting all the post from here not only the active post so here we'll just say again where post underscore status comma 12 again comma single quotation active then we'll give this arrow sign get so it will only get the active status okay so let's just save it over here then let's just refresh over here and then if you go down here you can see there is only three posts when we are logged in it is only showing us the active post so right now let's just log out and let's log in as an admin so let's just click login and let's show our here admin at the rate of gmail.com let's keep the password click login and here you can see currently we are in the admin dashboard and first of all we just directly go to the show post and in the show post we can see everything every post over here we can see the post status active and some of the post status is pending so what we are going to do is that we'll have some uh, two more field where we'll have two button like accept or reject okay so for it what we'll do is that uh, let's just go to this page code so here we'll just go to the here you can see the url is show post so let's just go to the web.php and here you can see show underscore post and it is calling the admin controller show underscore post function so admin controller 
here if you go down here you can show underscore post it is returning as the view show underscore post which is in the admin folder so here we will go to uh, resource then views and after that we will go to the admin folder so admin folder and show underscore post so here you can see show underscore post dot blade dot php so over here we will just directly go down and here after this edit over here uh, we are going to set table header it will be let's say status accept and another one will be status reject if you now save this then if we refresh here we have two more column okay so right now let's go back and for this status accept and this reject we'll have two td so let's say over here td this one will be for status accept so here we are going to say accept and we are going to mention a class let's say btn uh, btn primary let me just copy this then paste it over here here we are going to say reject then instead of btn btn primary we are going to say over here btn btn uh, outline secondary let's say for reject save this then refresh here and here you can see we have the accept and the reject button okay let's just change the button design a little bit let's say for the reject uh, we are going to say btn btn primary and for the accept btn btn outline secondary save this refresh here again so right now what we want is that if we click on the accept button then it will change the post status from pending to active but if we click on the reject button then the post status will change to reject over here okay so for it it will be really simple so let's go back and here in the href we'll give two second bracket for accept then here we are going to say url to first bracket to single quotation then let's say over here accept underscore post then for a specific post we need to get the specific id and for getting the id here you can see we use dollar post id uh, let me just show you here in the for each loop we use dollar post as dollar post so here uh, using just dollar post we can get the specific id for a specific post so we we'll our here post id dollar post id so after this we will go to our web.php and create a url or out so let's go to our web.php and right now let's just directly go down or let me just first copy a route from here control c now let's go down Control V. So here we will use admin controller. The route will be get. And here instead of edit paste, we are going to say over here accept underscore post. So accept underscore post. And here we need to get the ID because we are sending the ID from here. So right now we need to write the function name. Let's say function name will be active post. Same thing. Let's just save this. So right now, let's go to our admin controller and create this function. So let me just go to admin controller. Let's just go down. Here we are going to say public function accept post dollar id. Then we we'll give to second bracket. And here we are going to say dollar data or dollar post whatever equal to. We need to mention the post table model name which is post double clone find dollar id so after this what we will do is that we will just show over here dollar data this arrow sign and we want to change the post status for the specific post with the id so here uh, you can see in the database table here you can see post underscore status like this so we will show here post underscore status equal to to double quotation we will show here active then we'll just show over here dollar data this arrow sign save so basically what we'll do is that it will just change the post status from whatever it was to active the rest of the data will stay the same so after saving the data we'll show over here return redirect back right now let's save this so i hope you are clear so here we have the button called accept if someone click on the accept button it will call this function accept underscore post and with the id and it will call this function in the admin controller and then in the admin controller we'll just change the post status to active so right now let's save this and let's just refresh over here and here you can see this post status is pending over here so right now what we'll do is that here we have the accept button if we click on this accept button 
here you can see tree loading and uh, here you can see for this image the status become active so we can also uh, show a message over here at the top that status updated successfully so for it what we'll do is that here we'll just keep this arrow sign we'll show over here with message comma to double quotation and we'll show over here post status changed to active and here you can see we have a message over here so right now if you go to post underscore blade dot php and if you go at the top here you can see we have already write a session for message and here you can see we write over here message which is basically this one and if there is any message only then it will show us the message okay so right now if we now save this then if we now refresh here and let's say here you can see this is the last one so right now if we just click accept it will reload and here you can see post status change to active so here you can see the last for the last post the status is active so let's do the same thing for the reject button so let's just go back and let's go to our show post and here in the show post for this reject button let's say over here url to second bracket then we'll say here url to first bracket to second question we'll say here reject underscore post comma dollar post underscore this arrow sign id okay so let's just save this let's go to web.php let me just copy this control c control v the route will be get instead of accept here we are going to say reject reject underscore post which is basically this one with the id and here the function name will be reject underscore post save this let's go to our admin controller and let me just copy this function from here control c and control v so here we are going to say reject post r e j c t reject underscore post id first of all we'll get the id and this time instead of post status active we are going to show here rejected and after changing the post status to rejected we are saving the data and we'll return a message and the message will be post status changed to rejected rejected okay let's save this then let's just refresh here and right now uh, here we have this post over here so here we have the reject button so if we now click on this reject button here you can see it's reloading and here you can see post status changed to rejected and here you can see for the post status here you can see it is saying rejected so right now let's just do one more thing that is when we, we click on the button it will show us a pop-up message that are you sure okay so let's go back and here in the anchor tag we are going to say on click return confirm to first bracket to single quotation we'll say here are you sure to reject this post so right now if we just save this then here if we now refresh our browser and if you click on the reject button it is showing us a message that are you sure to reject this post so let's also do the same thing for exit accepting the post so let me just copy this on click from here and just let's just paste it in the anchor tag for the accept and here instead of reject we'll say here accept save this then let's refresh here and let's click on the accept button here you can see are you sure to accept this post okay let me just uh, do one more thing and that is here let's just log out from here and here if you go down here you can see that there is no gap among the post so what we should do is that we should just add a padding over here so for it what we'll do is that we'll go to the uh add not admin home home services.bed.php so basically from here we are actually uh showing those posts so right now what we'll do is that so here you can see we have the for each loop and it ended over here so what we'll do is that for this deep class column default we'll just say over here style and then we'll say here padding it will be 30 pf let's just save this then let's refresh over here and there you can see there is now some gap over here and it, it looks better so yeah this is all about this tutorial i hope you like this tutorial if you have any question you can let me know in the comment section and if you want more tutorial like this then make sure to subscribe this channel i will also really appreciate it thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the future tutorial